know, we, we, don't, we don't hate the Arabs. We love them. I mean, I, when I pray, you know, I've spoken to more than 100 nations, and my books are like in 30 languages. And uh, when we went to Iraq during the Iraq War, they found that they had built their whole prayer movement on possessing the gates of the enemy in my book. You know, so, uh, you know, so I, I, if people say, come on, Jesus, come, I say, not without the Middle East, okay? That's my second mind. They go, yes, come today, not without the Middle East. You know, I raise my hand about that. I preach in Jordan and Kuwait and you know, Egypt and getting ready to looking at Morocco next year. Morocco, doesn't that sound, Casablanca, Marrakesh, doesn't that sound so exciting? You know, the church is totally underground there, and I'm just thinking, wow, you know, I was saying, I think uh, yesterday I was saying that, uh, isn't it wonderful? I want to go where other people don't go. I want to preach where they need a preacher. You know, people say, well, isn't it dangerous? Yes, isn't that exciting? exciting. I don't want therapy for that, okay? I ask God for nations, and I want nations, all right? I'm just, I want nations. And I said, they said, well, what, what if they kill you? I said, well, heaven isn't a punishment. Come on! Live your life brightly. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ooh, there's something happening here. Hey, you just feel that? Something's stirring up here. Oh, oh, this is your DNA. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Nations, nations, nations. Give us nations, Lord. Amen. You know, I was thinking as I was looking, you know, the God spoke to me and he said, we're going to need, and on the, oh, I want to tell you, on the way to uh, Israel, I wrote a prophecy. And this is what I wrote. The Lord says in 2024, we need a wartime president. If we don't get a wartime strong president and we get a weak president, then in 2025, our enemies will begin to have World War III against us. Now, of course, prayer can change things. You know, I don't know if you've read the book Shaping History Through Prayer and Fasting by Derek Prince. If you haven't, you got to read that book. I mean, Shaping History Through Prayer and Fasting. Because it is our honor to give Jesus what he wants, and that's nations. That's our honor. You know, as growing up, nobody told me about nation stuff, you know. I mean, we got, of course, getting people saved is primary because that's eternal. You know, but God says, ask me for nations. My husband turned 75 this year, and he had a dream. Um, and, and in the, I think it was in the Message Bible, it said, you know, he had this dream. And in this dream, uh, he was talking to a friend of ours, Stephen Springer, and he said, what do you, and, and, and Stephen was saying, what do you want for your birthday? And so, so uh, uh, Mike was thinking, what do I want for my birthday? What do I want for a birthday? So finally, he called Steve and he said, what do you think this could mean? What do you want? It's your birthday. He said, oh, it's Psalm 2a. I think it's message Bible. Yeah, it says, do you have that? Look, look. Yeah, he quoted the message. And he said, what do you want for your birthday? Nations? continents like that's in the message bible so that was mike had this dream with stephen springer and stephen springer said oh i know exactly what it is ask me for nations and continents look don't live a boring old life And, and today is your birthday. Uh, sorry, you're my son, and today is your birthday. What do you want? Name it. Nations as a present? Continents as a prize? You can command them all to dance for you or throw them out with tomorrow's trash. <laughs> Whoa. What does God give his son on his birthday, right? <laughs> Nations. What does he want? Nations. He is the Lord over the nations. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Okay, here's, here's this little one. Hi, baby. Come up here and see Miss Cindy. Hi. 
Hey, guess what? This morning, God told me, Miss Cindy, that you would be here, and I know who you were, and to give you this present. I brought it for you. It's little gemstones. And the Lord says, Josiah, you are a sign of the reformation of this nation. And God says to you, I'm going to take care of you and tell your mommy someday God's going to pay for your college education. God's going to see that you get the dance lessons you need. And God is going to use you in a very special, special way in America. That's that. Okay. Your mommy will help you understand that. Okay, bye. <laughs> wow. Let's just stop a moment. Holy Spirit, you are just calling us to come up higher. You are calling us 24-7, day and night, night and day. Let incense arise. And listen, every single one of you, maybe you're a visitor. Well, you visited on a good day because God has need of you. <laughs> this, you're going, I've never been to a church like this. Well, because there's not many churches like this. <laughs> and so, Father, I just pray. If you just say, use me, Lord. I don't know how. St stand up. Let me just pray for you. Can you, can you just stand up? Father, here we are. Here we are. We know we're at a serious time of history. And Lord, sometimes we feel small and we don't know how can I make a difference. But Lord, I thank you for anointing, anointing us to make a difference.